Many habit can take us to the wealthy part. Many habit can take us to the wrong part too. No span January is nothing different. This video, I'm going to focus on talking about five weekly different habits to save money. As I mentioned to you previous week that I talk about preparation video, no spend January, one week at a time. So I would like to extend the version over here. And then throughout the January, I will have a different tips and tricks for you. The reason I'm doing the no spend January is I have a very specific mission. Every year I have a different mission. This year mission and next two years until I finish paying off the mortgage. It is that may paying down the mortgage. That is my mission with the whole family mission. And previous year, I was working on these student loans and I finally paid off this year. Hey, if you're new, welcome. This is Mira. Really good to see you, my healthy, wealthy mogul friend. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and please don't forget to subscribe and put a little thumbs up. I really appreciate all your love for my passions and dreams. If you are really, really interested in doing No Spend January, it's about building the great habit. If you discover me, this video, in the middle of the February is nothing different. Good habit is good habits. Nothing wrong with it. You can start it anytime, any month, every week. Number one tip is that weekday temptation. What is weekday temptation? Weekday temptation as a human, we like to eat, including myself, especially me. I like to eat. So number one is breakfast or something this thing called a coffee. That I love coffee and a black coffee is my favorite coffee because it doesn't have any more calories or nothing added. It's simple. And then things that we call it lunch, about 11 or 12 o'clock as human, we are hungry. <laughs> and dinner time, about 6, 7 o'clock. Then if you are single or if you are if you're by yourself and your belly gonna remind you that you're hungry. Or if you have a family, then your children gonna most likely remind you that where is the food mommy. Or the husband gonna remind you, hi honey, it's dinner ready. Even though you might be working on the computer. So any version of it, you know, we have this thing called it's going to come and get you, right? So it's nothing wrong with that. And the foods are, they are delicious. I am not suggesting that you cannot eat at all and be stuffed. That is not about it. This channel is all about being healthy, living well, and have the dream come true. So how are we going to tackle these temptations? Before they come to you, we have to make sure we are there already. So make sure that you have your breakfast ate at home before you go to work or before you go to school or before you go to volunteering different things. Whatever it is, get your breakfast at home or if you take it with you, go ahead and take it with you. You know, there are a lot of options that you can take it, you know. And for lunch thing or coffee, for coffee, you can make it at home. Whatever you make at home, gonna be way, way lower price than whatever you can get it from Starbucks. For lunch, I love my lunch. I cook whatever I cook at home with my family for dinner. The next day is my lunch. My husband lunch too. So we always eat our lunch, leftover lunch. Dinner time, I already slightly mentioned it to you. I mostly, 99.99% I cook at home. It doesn't mean that I never want to eat at the restaurant. There are times I enjoy my dinner and meals with my family or my friends at outside. But I have changed my lifestyle quite a bit. And especially no spend January, you know, if you have a gift card, or you already have it. Or if you have a reward point, you can do that. And weekend habit. Weekend habit is this. For example, like on the weekend, you know, there are times that if you are couples, if you have a family, there are times that people get bored and they might want to do something, the different things, different experience or different things, or they want to do it. That might cost us money, especially in no spend January if you're doing challenging yourself. There are a couple of advices that I have here for you. You can go to the park, you can go to the library, and you can go to the nearby community center. You know, there are things that you can do in your local area that doesn't cost you anything extra. If it's close enough, you can even take a walk by there. Or another option is that you can do it without going any farther places. You can also do it at your backyard, you know, and picnic. I used to do backyard picnic in the backyard, you know, because we got a bigger yard in the past. So we do backyard, you know, we have a tent and we have backyard picnic. We can cook whatever we have, barbecue, watermelons, and it's so delicious. I understand that right now in January, usually most of the country is are very cold in weather right now. You know, if you're living in snow weather, it might be hard to do backyard picnic in the backyard under the snow. So you can do indoor picnic and it's really fun. You can have a nice blanket and nice, you know, juice that you make homemade or maybe nice meal that you cook, you know. It is super, super relaxing and super fun. You can have a little movie going on or maybe like you can chit chat within a family member. Or if you don't want to do any of those options, 
Another option is super easy. It is like, for me, like if I go places, then it's kind of hard for me. So I kind of want to cut it off all those temptations, weekend temptations. So what I do is I stay at home and I watch a couple shows with my family. So those can be a free shows like at the Prime, at the Amazon Prime. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can watch a free show. They do have a pay shows too. I choose not to do that. I do the free one. You don't have to pay any more extra penny. And there are a couple other channels too you can do that. Some of them are they're giving you promotion like 0 0.99 cents for Peacock, which that's what I have right now. So I can watch that some of the shows and that channel too. But if you are if you never have a Peacock, I'm not suggesting that go ahead and subscribe, you know, on those Peacock channel because it wanna cost you money. Go go and do those things, free things. On YouTube, you can come and watch me. I have a bunch of encouragement, saving ideas and tips and tricks for you. And uh, this channel is free, so you can go and come and watch and all day long. Number three is extremely important. It is a saving journal. What is saving journal? It's nothing special, nothing serious. It's just simple. You can have a piece of book, a piece of paper, something. It could be a piece of paper, literally, and put it on the wall, you know, put it on the paper, put it on your table, saying that, what is saving journal, Mira? There are a lot of definitions for saving journal. My version is this. I write it down. I've been writing it down all the other day that I've been preparing for the, you know, 2024. And I'm definitely going to share with you everything I can, you know, share with you that so that we encourage you and motivate you. If you like this kind of channel, go and put a little thumbs up. And I really appreciate all your love and kindness. On the saving journal, this is what I do. I write it down things that I am currently spending, uh, that how I can do not to spend. So I have a two column, like on the piece of paper. And I say one is spend and not spend. Like for example, I'm doing shopping at grocery at Aldi because I love food. So I write it down Aldi. So I right now I'm doing weekly grocery shopping. So I choose to do buying weekly grocery shopping in January so that I have better control on my money. And another way that I just want to share you about this necklace over here. We're trying to eat lunch at my son's school and we went there and uh, you know, all the kids and I see all the kids and you know, I noticed, realized that there is a, um, you can wear like a, you know, holiday costume or holiday outfit or holiday attire, whatever you call it. And they all look super cute. And you know, I kind of forget that. And the truth is that in our house, we don't really have any too much of holiday attire, uh, like a Santa Claus or elf or, you know, like anything that, that resembles our, uh, resemble our those occasions. Uh, number one reason is that we moved from St. Louis to Florida last year. Number two reason is we kind of like minimalize it, so we don't have too much of things, so that we ended up with, you know, kind of less spending, you know, because there are times that I've done no spend January, there are times that I've done no spend year, so we kind of change our lifestyle habit. When I see those kids, they're so cute, and then my son was standing out as like he was wearing the, the uniform. It's nothing wrong with it, but then I asked him, Hey, are you okay? You know, uh, mommy didn't see the notes and, you know, I'm sorry that do you feel like left out, you know? And he said, oh, I'm okay, you know? And I said, well, um, well, I'm, I'm going to give you something so you can, you know, participate this too. And he's like, do you really, do you need to go buy it? You know, it kind of like, it kind of like touched my heart and I said, oh dear, you know? And he know that how much I save money, you know? So I, I was like, I feel like kind of like, feeling kind of like almost like almost crying you know but I didn't cry but I said oh it's okay honey I have it I'll take care of it for you you know the truth is yes I can spend like next person you know uh, I walk and I save you know but the thing is I choose not to spend you know so when he said that I was like oh honey don't worry about it I, I have something for you he said okay you know it's just so sweet and I was like oh my god so after we finished eating lunch I told my husband I'm going because I don't have anything in the house. I mean, I, you know, I have Christmas tree here. I mean, I cannot just do anything with Christmas tree on his, you know, costume or outfit. So I was like, I don't know what to do, you know? So what I did was like, I went to Dollar Tree and uh, at Dollar Tree, everything is sold out. Now there's nothing, there's nada. I was like, huh, I don't know what's going on. So I, I saw this little hat, the Christmas Santa Claus hat and I see, and I buy that, it is like $1.25 plus tax. So I said, I hope he like it, you know, I don't know what to do. I grabbed that and I was like, oh, I just wish I have something, like a little necklace. I know he would like the little jingle bell or something. 
I don't know where to buy it. You know, I kind of feel a little bit lost at that moment. And so, and then, so I went back to, I went to TJ Maxx, which is right by, it. you know, if you are, if you live in North Pole, Florida, you will know what I'm talking about. There's the only one more that we have. And so that I went to that TJ Maxx and I looked for it like, uh, you know, everywhere. I was like, why is something that low price that I don't have to spend too much and I also bring joy to my son. I look everywhere, there's nothing. And I was like, oh man, I just kind of feeling like a little bit of, you know, to the mood that I don't know what to do. I said, well, I guess I give that one to him. You know, hopefully he like it and he be not feeling alone or sad, you know. So as I walked, trying to get out of it, I saw this lady uh, and she has this necklace. She has this necklace, I'm gonna put it here. She has this necklace and like, she's like, she's wearing this. And I was like, oh, like that, you know, oh, like that. And I was like, where did you get this from, you know? <laughs> Again, I, I don't buy this from before in my whole life. So I was like, where do you get this from? And she's like, Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh. And next Dollar Tree would be like in Port Charlotte that I need to drive maybe 20 minutes. And I don't really know that, you know, I don't have that much time left because the school is already lunchtime already, you know. He, he's gonna do something. So I want to give it to him before the end of the school, you know, end of the day. So I was like, I don't know. So she's like, I said, oh, okay, thank you. You know, I said, oh, thank you. I went there, I didn't see it. And I looked like, maybe I looked desperate. I don't know what I, my face looked like at the time. And I think she saw my face. And then she's like, she's like, here. She's like, take it out. And she just give it, she just like, give it to me. I was like, I was like, are you sure? I was like, I don't know what to say. I was like, if I buy it from her, I feel like I don't want to insult her, you know? I don't know what to say. I don't I don't have anything to give back to her either. I don't know what to do. I was like, I get my business card. I said, here, this is my card. You can contact me <laughs> anytime. I said, thank you so much. I don't know what to say. She's like, just wear it on yourself right now. Right now I'm giving to you and you can give it to your son later. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I'm just like so grateful. You have no idea. So I grabbed this little necklace and took a picture with my, her name is Linda. Thankful, I went to school back right away. And I drop it on this little thing and the hat. When I pick him up, he has this necklace wearing, he has this little Santa Claus hat wearing, and he's like, he's just so happy that I was like, oh my goodness. I told him the whole story. I said, how I got this necklace, how I got this Santa Claus. And he's like, really? I thought you already have it at home. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't want to lie to you, but I just want to be transparent to you and uh, you know tell you the truth that this is, this is how I got it because I just really doesn't want you to feel lonely and sad you know so anyway this is my whole charade story these things are not you know you didn't plan for it you know things gonna happen in no span january you know all no, no span year no span month that you're doing it gonna come to you and then you'll be like whoa what's happening you know of course you know not every store gonna be there's a lady waiting to give you a free necklace but i wasn't expecting that you know but things happen you know it's just like little thing you know you just like your heart is like, oh my God, I need to do it for your for your kids. You know, you need to do it for somebody. You know, things gonna happen. I, it happened to me, and I spent one dollar twenty five cents December. If if it's happened to you in your spend January that you have to buy one dollar twenty five cents as hat, you know, don't say like you fail. You know, no, you didn't fail it. You know, you can reduce like maybe one dollar twenty five cents in all your grocery shopping. You know, kind of like put it in it. It doesn't mean you fail. You know. You might be saving because I do like twice a month grocery shopping by by month, you know, by weekly grocery shopping. And that will save me maybe fifty bucks, for example. I'm just making it up. Then I can use that one dollar twenty five cents for here. So I still save money for it. You know, no spend generally is that not extra saving money, but not overspending money. I think that is the goal. And the next one is like be creative. Challenges are coming on your way, even though you want it or don't want it. Like things like happen on necklace thing, the hat thing, whatever is gonna happen. And then you have to be creative. For example, one of the things that I would like to suggest is like people are gonna invite you to come to the party. You know, they say, come to the party for New Year party. It could be the New Year office party. It could be anything, their birthday, you know. It asks you to come and you didn't expect that they're happening, right? When it happened, you can be creative. Like for example, one of the things happened is for me is that in one of the, a few months ago, there was a party events, you know, like a religious events. And it required the women wearing the, a long um, dress or long uh, skirt, you know, something. But the truth is that when I moved from other location to here, 
I didn't have much left because I make it into kind of bulletproof um, closet. So I didn't have that much left. So I had to be very creative. So I, I wear that, you know, things that I have. And uh, the, it's called longi. It is very easy to drop it off. It's not a skirt. It doesn't have an elastic thing on your wrist. So what I have to be creative is I use the belt that I already have on the longi. Things that you can control it. Uh, if your event is going, it's like theme party. You know, they're required to wear Hawaiian thing or you want to wear the gold color. You know, if you have a yellow something, maybe you can make it mix and match it. You know, make it look like a, a gold dress, you know, a gold outfit. It doesn't have to be like everybody else. You can be creative and you'll be so proud of yourself. Number five is extremely important. Talk to your family member that what you're doing. It doesn't have to be, they have to involve because I don't want you to have fight with your spouses or your family members because it takes really a lot of time for them to get involved if they're not a saver. Trust me, I did it a long time ago. But what I'm doing is right now is that if you tell your spouse, if you tell your family member or your everybody that whoever you live with in the household that you are doing that no spend January, when you tell them that, hey, you know what? I'm doing no spend January and I'm so excited for it. And you know, this is what I'm doing. You know, you want to participate. If they say no, that is totally okay. Don't give up and don't get upset. Don't fight with them because they are, that is their choice and that is our choice, right? So there are two things gonna happen, right? If your spouse or if your partner doesn't agree with you, they'll be doing their behavior as like everything, every time, every month, but you're doing different. So don't make it the relationship into too tight. So what you can do is, you know, at least you'll be saving, let's say in the past, like let's say you both are spending uh, $500 extra that you wasn't planning, uh, something that you buy, you know, $500 every month, for example. Because like no spend January, he'll be or she'll be spending $250 per month, for example. But you are not spending it $250. So at least 50% will be safe no matter what because like, you are trying it, right? So that is that at least already a benefit already. But if she or he agree with you, he or she want to participate with you, you'll be saving 100% or maybe 98%. Remember, something fail, don't give up, continue. So that is my all my little tips and tricks for you for this week. I hope that you really enjoy it and I really enjoy it. And I want to say thank you so much, Linda. You are such a jump and I want to say thank you. You made my Sunday, you made my day. I will never forget it. I will keep this necklace forever. And this is not a, you know, I call it some of them I declutter. I declutter, I mean, literally I declutter it. But this one, I'll keep it for the rest of his life for him. And I truly mean that because it is one of those times that, you know, people give you or help you and support you along the way when you are least expecting it and you are feeling like lost. And a lot of times it happened in my life and I will never forget each individual person that who has helped me throughout my journey. All these people are matter to me and I really appreciate them. And uh, next week I'll be making more every week, be making videos about a few tips and tricks for you. And I look forward to my videos. I love you guys all and I'll see you next video. Thank you so much and happy new year. No spend January, here will come. Talk to you soon.